and we're crossing the border as well, so it should hopefully yeah. go smoothly. So we'll show you, see how it goes. Uh, we will be taking a Euro bus from Tirana to Ohrid tomorrow, so we'll get to show you a little bit of what it's like to cross the borders. But yeah, okay, so here we are. This is the main bus terminal in Jurez. So from this location, you can get more budget-friendly buses, and you can also get um, higher-end buses with AC and Wi-Fi. Um, I think this is your best option, most affordable, and probably your most comfortable bet since Albania is a small country, it's quite easy to get around. Yeah, so we just finished our time here in Jerez. It's been really amazing. We're about to start our journey um, by bus to go to uh, Ohrid, Lake Ohrid. So first we're going to take a taxi from Jerez to Trana because we just thought it was simpler. Um, that's costing us 3,000 luck flat rate. Um, and then we catch our bus direct from Tirana to Ohrid with Eurobus and I believe that was 23 euro for the two of us one really way. Bye bye Adjurez. Okay, so we're in the taxi and we are on our way to um, Tirana bus station in Albania behind the sportsplex. That's how it is though in Albania. They just gather all the buses together. So. When we booked our tickets online, we got our tickets for Eurobus. Now, I just wanted to mention really quickly, we were looking for like a big coach, a big bus. That was the kind of impression that we had. However, this first leg of our travels ended up being like a short van style. So just keep that in mind. You might think you're booking for something specific and you don't quite get it. Um, however, on our return trip back from um, back into Albania, we did have a longer, bigger coach. So that's just something to keep in mind. Keep your eyes open. Don't be shy to ask questions. People are always glad to help and um, yeah do your research and it really can help you in the long run Another thing worth mentioning when you're traveling in places like Albania or Mexico, it's a good idea to have a paper copy of your ticket, not just the digital copy on your phone because some countries won't accept it. So I always do this.
So we're just at the border now. They came by, grabbed everybody's passports, and now we wait. It's currently 3 o'clock, and we're supposed to be arriving at 3.15, so we'll see. Well, it's our Airbnb host is picking us up at the airport, I mean at the bus station, so So this is the main bus terminal in Orid. It's underneath this big hostel sign. There is a bank machine outside. One thing to keep in mind when you're departing, there is a departure tax that you have to pay. And also the cafe in the waiting area only took cash. is the unit <laughs> nice big window nice view are exploring the beautiful Lake Orid in Orid Macedonia North Macedonia North Macedonia that's correct and um, we're going to show you some of our favorite things that we have seen, some great places to eat, um, and just the general vibe here. So if it's somewhere you're interested in going in the future, you're going to want to watch this video. Yes, it is really awesome. And uh, yeah, can't wait to show you. Oh. So um, yeah, we're just here to remind you that if you're enjoying the videos that you're seeing and you appreciate the information, um, we're continuing to do this for the majority of our life. So um, yeah, if you'd like some more travel information or tips and tricks and general costs and ideas, please hit that subscribe button. And we love people reaching out in the comments and, and interacting yes. with us here on YouTube and also on um, Instagram. So please don't hesitate to connect. Yes, what she said. She's very good at this. No, I'm not. It's terrible. <laughs>